Dear students, under the topic Non-Linear Partial Differential Equations, here we have problem 12 under standard type 2. The question is solve z squared multiplied with p squared plus z square plus q square is equal to 1. We observe that only z, p and q are present explicitly in this equation. So this equation is of the form capital F of z, comma p, comma q equal to 0. For that such equation, we have to make a substitution of q to be equal to ap. First, let us mark this as equation 1. So the given equation has been marked as equation 1. So in this, we have to put q is equal to ap. So put q equal to ap in equation 1. So when we do so, what do we get? z square multiplied with p square plus z squared and q is what? ap. Here we have q squared and so it will be a square p squared is equal to 1. We shall now multiply this z squared to each of the terms. So we get z squared p squared plus here if we multiply z to the power 4 and then plus when you multiply with this you have a square z squared p squared is equal to 1. Now in these two terms, z squared p squared can be taken common. So z squared p squared multiplied with 1 plus, here you have a square, plus we have to write this z power 4 is equal to 1. All we need is the value of p, for which we have to take this z power 4 to the right. So you will be having z square p squared multiplied with 1 plus a square to be equal to 1 minus z to the power 4. So from this the value of p square will be 1 minus z to the power 4 divided by so this z square and 1 plus a square goes to the right in the denominator. So z squared multiplied with 1 plus a square. So the value of p will be equal to plus or minus square root of 1 minus z to the power 4 divided by square root of z squared is z only and then square root of 1 plus a square. So we have obtained the value of p. Now the value of p and q has to be substituted in the equation dz is equal to p dx plus q dy. But we know that we have we, we have put q equal to ap. So it's equal to pdx plus ap dy. So dz will be equal to if you take the p common out, you will be having dx plus a dy. So taking p to the left, we will be having dz by p to be equal to dx plus a dy. Now we shall substitute the value of p that we have obtained in this place. So, here you have p in the denominator. So, take the reciprocal of this and just multiply over here. So, let us do that. So, af so, after substituting the value of p, we get this. Now, we have to integrate on both the sides. So, when we do so, to integrate this integral, we have to make a substitution for t that is 1 minus z to the power 4. So, the substitution that we are going to make is put t is equal to z squared. So what will be dt? It will be equal to 2z dz. So dt divided by 2 is equal to z dz. So this is the substitution that we are going to make for t. So the integral on the left will turn out to be plus or minus square root of 1 plus a square and then integral z d z is dt by 2. So dt divided by 2 divided by square root of 1 minus z to the power 4 we have here. We know that t is equal to z square. So z to the power 4 is the square of z squared which is t squared. So this will be t square. So t square is what? z to the power 4. So z to the power 4 can be written as t square and that is equal to integral dx plus a integral dy. Now, further integrating this, we know that from the formula for integration, so integral of that is uh, dx by square root of 1 minus x square. 
the formula for integration for this is equal to sin inverse of x. So, we are going to apply this formula over here with respect to t. So, this integral is actually plus or minus square root of 1 plus a square. The 2 in the denominator, I can write it in this way. An integral dt by square root of 1 minus t square after integration, it is sine inverse of t. So, sine inverse of t. And that is equal to what is integral dx? It is x plus a multiplied with integral dy is y plus a constant of integration which is b. Now, we shall substitute the value of t over here. So, it will be plus or minus square root of 1 plus a squared divided by 2 sine inverse of what is t? t is equal to z squared. So, this value we are going to substitute. So, t is z squared. So, sine inverse of z squared is equal to x plus a y plus b. Now, taking this 2 which is here in the denominator to the right, we get plus or minus square root of 1 plus a squared sine inverse of z squared is equal to 2 multiplied with x plus a y plus b. We can leave this as it is. So, this is the final answer or you can also square on both the sides in order to get rid of the square root. So, when we square on both the sides plus or minus becomes plus itself and we have 1 plus a squared and we also have sine inverse of z square the whole square to be equal to square of 2 is 4 multiplied with x plus a y plus b the whole square. So, this is the final solution. So, I hope you would have understood this problem. Thank you.